This is Jordan Tao with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. Well, they got crabs trying the sweetie hot sauce. And the crabs gave it rave reviews. Actually, that's Cardi B's little crab claws right there. She tries it and she loves it. Okay. And you know, I, I don't know. This is part of like a campaign because I saw like Martin Lawrence trying it and everything. You know, I I guess they're hiring influencers to, I don't know, to try out the hot sauce. It's hot sauce, man. Hot sauce. It's like hot sauce and uh, sweet and sour sauce mixed. All right, come on. Uh, a court won't make Nicki Minaj pay $20 million. They didn't see any foul play. Um, they said it probably was an innocent mistake. And, you know, they're going to move forward with, uh, like, a what a court clerk found no foul on Nicki's end. And, you know, they're moving forward with, uh, you know, communicating on this issue. And they're going to go to court on it. Jennifer's legal team still plans on pursuing default ruling. Of course, it's easier it's easier to de to go after a default ruling versus a uh, actual ruling. <laughs> uh, anyways, WAC 100 comes in to save Blue Da Vinci. You know, after processing, everyone's like, okay, you know, WAC 100's out here trying to like, you know, put his cape on and save Blue Da Vinci for some reason. Uh. He posted an article like this isn't, you know, he said he said that basically Blue Da Vinci was the only one that didn't cooperate among, you know, 15 people arrested. I don't know, man. It was like <laughs> people are going after Blue Da Vinci because he spoke about the whole thing. He, he made himself seem uh, guilty. When he was going after 50 Cent Little Me, like, don't mess up my story, man. Don't don't play with my name. When you're like, you're like five seasons away from like even tackling that uh, Blue Da Vinci part of the story, you know, where he comes in. Like, you're so many episodes away. And he's worried about it like on the, what, the third episode? You know, I was like, come on, bro. You sound, doesn't sound good. I'm not, I'm just saying that's what it comes off like. I don't know. But uh, then we got, you know, this guy. Uh, he's going to court in uh, for federal uh, charges set for August 2022 in Chicago. He already did, what, what was he, what did he do recently? New York? Dude, this guy. This guy ruined his life, bro. I mean, he, he has, he's, a, he's, a, uh, he's a sick guy. Sick guy. I don't think they should cancel all of his music, though, but like, Let's be honest, man. This is sick, bro. When it comes to him, like, this is just a person. <laughs> uh, Kodak Black comes for... Uh, ooh, let's see. So Asian Doll speaks on uh, Jack Boy, and uh, she calls herself Queen Bond still. But she said she wanted a Lamborghini truck for her birthday. Yeah, because that's a... That's a adequate birthday present you know and kodak West says that's why you should have uh you were supposed to be with psycho bob that's his other artist and friend versus jack boy because he maybe he could have got you a lambo truck <laughs> or maybe he would have been crazy enough to get him a get her a lambo truck <laughs> but uh then we got uh oh this is good so top five top five top five top five rapper toronto he got arrested he raps about his crimes, man. He said, uh, he said, I, I shot that guy in the back. Where's he now? He's nowhere to be seen. Maybe he's in the sky and all this stuff. He's charged with first degree murder, bro, for revenge for his brother's killing. Uh, he's been on the run for a minute, but the feds caught up with him and he was arrested. Uh, he was arrested five months after he went on the run. He did the race. Um, so anyways, it's being reported that uh, he sought revenge after his brother's killing in a case of mistaken identity and killed Hashi, thinking he was one the one who uh, had murdered his brother. Hassan Ali is uh, Top Five's real name to be a member of Toronto's Go Get Em gang. That's, an, that's a great name. Go Get Em. Ali's ties were resulted in Hashi's death. Ali is a member of a violent Canadian street gang 
Canada has charged him in a cold-blooded murder of Hashim Hashim. U.S. Attorney's Office uh, District Court for Central District of California says that. So, anyways, he's caught. And then, uh, Young Blue said that he didn't re-sign with Boosie on the Breakfast Club. And Boosie responds to that and said, we're not going to talk about that, but it's not true. I feel, I feel like that somebody got in his ear and, you know, we're just going to sit down and work it out. I'm not going to, like, make a big deal about it. We'll just, as long as I'm compensated, I don't mind. You know, somebody probably got in Young Blue's ear and said, yo, man. You're big now, you know, just get, you gave him money to get this, yeah, move on, man. And, you know, kind of, but Boosie did introduce everybody to Young Blue in the very beginning, got him going, so all that matters. Anyways, guys, it's Jordan Tower, JT News, I'll check you guys in the next one.